People in Taiwan woke up to the strongest earthquake there in 25 years. The magnitude 7.2 quake struck off the east coast. Aftershocks rattled communities across the South Fold Island, causing power cuts and some buildings to collapse. Text messages warned coastal areas of the tsunami threat. It was very strong. It felt as if the house was going to topple. It was shaking very violently. All the motorcycles outside our house toppled over, so I quickly switched off the gas and the electrical source. When I realized it was an earthquake, I quickly put on my clothes and shoes. Then I dragged the kid with me and ran down the stairs. Officials in the capital, Taipei, said it was the strongest earthquake to hit Taiwan and offshore islands since 1999, when a 7.6 magnitude quake, the worst natural disaster in the island's history, killed an estimated 2,400 people. There have been more than 100 aftershocks recorded since that initial quake struck here this morning in Taiwan and authorities warn that further tremors could still come. We have already seen reports of houses tilting, roads damaged and many vehicles hit by falling rocks in the Hualien area. In the Taipei area, the metro and high-speed trains were suspended. I would like to request the relevant departments to grasp the golden time for rescue, actively carry out search and rescue work for the people, take the best care of injured people and take emergency resettlement measures. Japan and the Philippines were also on tsunami alert. Japan's national broadcaster warning viewers to evacuate their homes. Okinawa's main airport temporarily suspended all flights, but the tsunami warnings have since been lifted. The region is no stranger to highly destructive seismic events. In 2011, Japan suffered its biggest earthquake on record. A massive 9.0 magnitude undersea jolt triggered a tsunami that left around 18,500 people dead or missing. It also caused the Fukushima nuclear power plant disaster, the most serious accident since Chernobyl. And a 7.5 magnitude earthquake on New Year's Day this year hit Japan's Noto Peninsula, killing more than 230 people. Patrick Falk, Al Jazeera, Taipei. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.